Ukraine calls for Xbox and PlayStation to block Russian support amidst global conflict. Bungie warns Destiny 2 players of bans if they try playing it on the Steam Deck. And we'll dive into the different factions in Elix 2. And it's all presented by THQ Nordic. This is your Daily Fix. <laughs> presented by THQ Nordic. In an open letter to Xbox and PlayStation, Ukraine's Deputy Prime Minister Mikhailo Fedorov called on all game development and esports companies to temporarily stop support for Russia and Belarus. On Twitter, Fedorov tagged both Xbox and PlayStation with the message, you are definitely aware of what is happening in Ukraine right now. Russia declare war not for Ukraine, but for all civilized world. If you support human values, you should leave the Russian market. The open letter calls for temporarily blocking all Russian and Belarusian accounts, temporarily halting participation of Russia and Belarusian teams and gamers in international esports events, and canceling international events being held in territories of Russia and Belarus. The inclusion of Belarus in this statement is due to Belarusian support of Russia's invasion. The gaming industry has found ways to support Ukraine through a number of fundraising efforts, but besides one platformer, Little Orpheus, being delayed due to its Soviet-related storyline, there have been no games pulled from release in Russia. This is in stark contrast to the film industry, which has seen Disney, Sony Pictures, and Warner Brothers all pull movie releases from the country. Microsoft and Sony Interactive Entertainment have yet to comment on the open letter. In other news, Bungie warns Destiny 2 players that if they try to play the game on a Steam Deck, their accounts may be banned. Destiny 2 could eventually work if Windows was natively installed on the Steam Deck, but due to an unreleased graphics driver for the machine's GPU, Windows cannot run effectively. Other popular games like Fortnite, Halo Infinite, and Lost Ark also aren't currently compatible with the Steam Deck because they use an anti-cheat system that isn't supported by Proton. So Bungie pretty much says, don't try and play Destiny 2 on the Steam Deck, it's not worth the risk. You have been warned. And finally, Elix 2, the science fantasy RPG, is finally out and available for all to enjoy. You play as Jax, a father looking to save his son and the rest of the world from an alien invasion. Unfortunately, the people on this planet don't see everything eye to eye. They are divided into five factions, and you'll need to team up with one of them to help you save the world. Or you could go solo and be a faction list. However, joining a faction will give you access to unique skills and equipment. One of the most feared factions are the clerics. This technologically advanced faction uses the Elix element to power their weapons and are feared by many for their devastating war machines. The Albs are a splinter group of the clerics and consume the Elix to improve their combat power, granting them psi abilities. The berserkers, on the other hand, rely on nature instead of tech, converting Elix to mana in order to cast magic. So if you're into fireball throwing mages, then this medieval fantasy style faction might be your cup of tea. Tune into the Fix tomorrow to learn more about the factions of Elix 2. What faction are you interested in joining? Let us know in the comments below. Elix 2 is now available on consoles and PC. And that was your Games Fix for today, March 2nd. Oh, and just a quick reminder, we are back with Narza's office hours this Friday at 3 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Hope you'll join me. Download the IGN app on all your devices. Follow the Daily Fix on Snapchat. For everything else, head on over to IGN.com. I'm Nars, and remember to always stay fabulous.